I don't think the average person is scientifically sophisticated enough to understand just how safe or how dangerous it is to release this wastewater into the sea. So correct me if I'm wrong here, Mr. Ma. This radioactive wastewater has been treated at the plant, right? But could it still pose a risk to the environment, to the sea? It is it will be dumped into. What are your concerns, Mr. Ma? Yeah, thank you. And um, uh, you're right. Uh, the the wastewater has been uh, stored, and uh, in those storage tanks, um, they are uh, they are treated. They're treated um, uh, to try to remove the most uh, uh, damaging uh, re uh, radial nuclides, uh, and um, uh, they. The, the Japanese um, uh, government and especially TEPCO want to uh, emphasize that uh, that the wastewater have been treated uh, to a level that is uh, uh, that is safe uh, and uh, it's well below the the, the safety level. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, but so far they haven't uh, been given uh, any full list. Of um, of these uh, radioactive uh, elements uh, in the water, they want to emphasize uh, uh, the less kind of uh, uh, damaging uh, uh, isotope like um, uh, the tritium. Um, but um, but actually, you know, it was pointed out by uh, environmental groups, uh, international environmental groups, that uh, 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 carbon 14, cobalt 16, or strontium, and uh, others may still exist. In the in the wastewater and um, and uh, taking uh, taking uh, carbon 14 as an example, uh, this radio um, active uh, nuclide um, will can have uh, an, an impact for thousands of uh, thousands of years and may potentially uh, have the uh, have the risk uh, to damage human DNA and uh, 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 which may lead to diseases like cancer. Mr. Ma, let's briefly review uh, the two options brought up by experts. As our reporter mentioned just now, one of them evaporation, the other uh, dilution and release into the sea. As you said just now, the uh, Japanese government and TEPCO seem to favor the latter. Can you compare and contrast these two options for us? Yeah, with the first option, you you know you vaporize that, you electric uh, electrolyze uh, the the wastewater, and uh, so so you vaporize that uh, into the air. Of course, it uh, it has its own environmental um, uh, impact, uh, you know, uh, as well. Uh, the uh, some some radial nuclides may uh, get into the air, um, and um, uh, and the second one, of course. Uh, the, the second choice is just to directly discharge this into the ocean to just uh, uh, um, and um, and the, the, I, I think the uh, this this ocean dumping uh, uh, option has been favored uh, in most people's mind. It's because it's uh, it's the, the 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 most straightforward one, the cheapest one, um, and. Um, uh, but um, uh, but it has its uh, uh, its potential um, risk, and uh, especially you know the uh, the TEPCO as a company have uh, have lost its uh, credibility mm. and trust um, because it's uh, it has a track record of uh, uh, covering up even and um, and sharing a lot of misleading uh, information, and even the decision makers in Japan, the leaders in Japan. Have uh, uh, you know in in some in, in many cases uh, questioned the credibility of this uh, uh, of this company. So to um, to have uh, uh, to rush into a decision, you know, uh, based on the uh, study of this company is um, uh, is questionable. So transparency and uh, and consultation, uh, uh, we hope to see that. Uh, not just in Japan, but with the mm. neighboring countries as well. 